uh, hello viewers uh, once again uh, welcome to my uh, lecture number first this lecture is related to biochemistry so in this lecture we will discuss about the basic concepts of chemistry let's see here this is the course objectives i will cover all these course objectives in different lectures first of all we will discuss the importance of chemistry and nursing also reviewing the concepts that would help in better understanding of the following units after completion of this unit students will be able to review the basic concepts of matter elements mixture compounds chemical reactions equations and bonding discuss the acid base and redox reactions now come toward the importance of chemistry and nursing before studying the definition of biochemistry should come toward the importance as we know that biochemistry is the chemistry of living organisms as we know that there are certain biochemical reactions which are occurring inside the bodies why biochemistry is important for nursing it helps in administering medicine to the patients nurses must understand how particular medicines will react with different patients therefore the chemistry knowledge allows nurses to understand the effects of different medicines when used alone or in combination with others it is very important for nurses to have the knowledge and know the difference and what they are administering to the patient come to the importance of chemistry in nursing having a an understanding of chemistry will enable the nurse why medications with the same generic names or within the same classification do not work the same chemistry prepares nurses to have wide knowledge about compounds why a doctor prescribe a specific drugs or antibiotic to his or her patient organic chemistry focuses on a specific type of matter that contains carbon atoms and procedure of cooking chemistry explain how food changes as you cook it how it rots how to preserve the food how your body uses the food you eat how the ingredient interact to make food part of the important sub chemistry lies in developing and testing new medical treatment and medicine so this all this is the importance of chemistry now come toward the basic definitions what is matter so matter can be defined as in science matter is the term for any type of materials matter is anything that has mass and takes up space at a minimum matter required at least one sub atomic particles although most matter consists of atoms the word matter is sometimes used to refer to a paper substance matter is a substance that has inertia and occupies physical space according to modern physics matter consists of various types of particles each with mass and size matter can exist in several states also called phases air is surrounding you at means it occupies space so air is an example of matter even you are an excellent example of matter you have mass and occupy space likewise water books pencils sun earth moon electron proton mesons quarks are the example of matter elements can be defined as an element is a substance whose atoms all have the same number of protons present in its nucleus another way of saying this is that 
all of the particular elements atoms have the same atomic number means same number of protons elements are chemically the simplest substance and hence it cannot be broken down using chemical reactions an element is a substance that is made entirely from one type of atoms for example the element hydrogen is made from atoms containing a single proton and single electron if you change the number of protons in atoms has you change the type of element it is so it means whenever you change the number of proton which are present in an atom so definitely the nature or you can say the type of the element will must be changed there are different examples of elements so all of the atoms have the same number of protons for example hydrogen helium oxygen nitrogen carbon gold silver lead uranium are the well known examples of elements let's see uh, this is periodic table of the elements and with the all the elements they are arranged in a proper order so the first you can see here you can uh, also identify all these elements with their specific codes now look at this color these all alkali metals lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium bromine the second one is alkaline earth metals that is beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium and radium while uh, these are called actually you can see here bronze carbon nitrogen bronze this is in gallium plumbum and many more all these are you can see here these are poor metals these are poor metals which are colors these are four metals while their transition uh, metals they are lying in the metal positions for example uh, this is the element hydrogen so it has uh, the name of the element is hydrogen its atomic number is 1 its atomic symbol is capital h and its relative atomic the mass of the atom is 1.00794 the same situation is here this is the lithium so then sodium and then potassium so actually the relative atomic mass it is already retains below the symbol so these are the transition metals and these are metallites like bronze so all these are metallites Uh, now come to our actinides. So actinides are, so you can see here, these are actinides, actinides which are given here. These are actinides, which are also arranged in a proper order, and these are lanthanides. These are lanthanides. So it is, it has been starting from Li, and actinide is starting from Ac. other non metal so other non metals you can see the colors uh, which can directly match with this carbon nitrogen oxygen so these are other non metals metallites are these ones while they uh, come toward the halogens these are the halogen groups you can see there is difference in the color these are halogens these are fluorines chlorine bromine iodine acetones and many and more so it come under the category of halogens these are noble gases helium neon argon krypton and on and on so this is actually the uh, arrangement of the elements in a proper order okay now come to our compound so a compound is a substance which is formed when two or more chemical elements they are chemically bonded together for example Power water is a compound made from two elements. One is hydrogen and oxygen. The ratio of hydrogen to oxygen and water is always two ratio one, and each molecule of water contains two hydrogen atom bonded to the single oxygen atom. 
uh, then mixture so any substance uh, that has a uniform and unchanging compositions is considered to be pure so example of uh, pure substances include the elements a mixture is a combination of two or more pure substances and with each pure substance retain its individual chemical properties for example you can see here mixture example for example sand and water this is mixture sand and salt in water when salt is uh, dissolved in the water so it become mixture when sugar is dissolved when sugar and salts when they are mixed become mixture ethanol and water combination is mixture here is mixture because it is a mixture of uh, different gases soda salt peppers and solution collides suspensions these are the examples of the mixture smoke and fog fog smoke and fog it become smoke so dirt and water it become mud sand water and gravel so when they are combined with each other so it, it makes cement water and salt sea water potassium nitrate sulfur and carbon so it become gunpowders oxygen and water it becomes sea foam petroleum hydrocarbons and fuel additives like gasolines you can see here uh, the types of mixture uh, this is matters and matter is uh, divided into two group. one is power substance the second one is mixture so power substance has been divided into two one is element the second one is compound so how we can differentiate it elements are oxygen hydrogen iron and compounds uh, they are water because water is the combination of you can say hydrogen and oxygen they are combined with different ratio one molecule of two molecule of hydrogen and one uh, term of oxygen they are grouped together so it form water table salt sodium chloride ammonia so these are compounds compounds are formed by the combination of two or more than two elements for example when hydrogen and oxygen are combined and different ratios so it form water so water become compound <laughs> mixture is divided into two one is homogeneous mixture the second one is heterogeneous homogeneous mixture that is you can say solution salt water mouthwash and all alloys heterogeneous mixture is pizza italian salad and you can say dressing a solid dump this is heterogeneous mixture so we can easily differentiate between so what's the difference at molecular level this is mixture this is uh, heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures so look at the composition here in heterogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures actually these particles they are not evenly mixed and they are not uniformly distributed while in homogeneous mixtures these particles they are uniformly are the small particles they are evenly distributed in a proper manner homogeneous mixtures in homogeneous mixtures there is uniform compositions one pairs are part of sample with uniform composition properties small particles evenly distributed so examples are salt water solution iodine one nature stainless steel mixture of iron chromium and nickels while in heterogeneous mixture not even Lee mixed more than one pairs particles not uniformly distributed or larger so is the separated physically example of salt and paper cereal rocks based of a sorted candy uh, inshallah in my next lecture so we will talk about the structure of atom and product table this is very easy to understand but inshallah uh, i will deliver a special lecture on the structure of atom in my next lecture thank you so much for watching my lecture so kindly uh, do subscribe my channels and also press the bell icons for my upcoming lectures so if you have any question regarding my lecture i'm always available for your services wish you best of luck